My name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to set up service access restrictions in Azure Web App. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal. So in the last video we discussed about how to add uh, the TLS or SSL certificate in Azure App Service. In this video we will talk further about setting up security but in terms of setting up Azure service access, Azure App Services access restrictions. So what exactly do we mean by access uh, restrictions? By setting up access restrictions, we can define a priority ordered allow or deny list that will control network access to the app. This, this list can include IP addresses or Azure virtual network subnets. When there would be one or more entries, an implicit deny all exists at the end of the list, right? So this access restriction capability works with all Azure App Service hosted workloads and the workloads can include web apps, API apps, Linux app, Linux custom containers and function. So this works in a way like when a request would be made to the app, the from address is evaluated against the rules in the access restriction list. If the from address like or the source IP address is in a subnet that's configured with service endpoints to Microsoft Web. The source subnet is compared against the virtual network rules in the access restriction li list. And if it is in the allowed list, it would be able to access. If it is not, then it would not be able to access. It's kind of a access control list. Access restrictions are also called as the access control list. So, let me create a web app first. So the reason I delete web apps every time I do a lab because I may end up paying a lot of money that would not be good because as soon as I complete my lab or the video, I delete all the resources. So that is why I am uh, creating a resource group again. It will not take much time. You can name it anything. I'll do the web app name. Right, I'll do the code, I'll do the ASP.NET. Here I'm going to select a region. And this is my app service plan. I'm going with the default. I'm going to disable the continuous deployment. In here, you can enable the network injection. So you will see that after I after I deploy the app, the option of enabling the uh, access restrictions would come under networking, but it's not coming when we are creating an app, right? So we'll click on monitoring, tags, create. Let me give it. A minute. I'll pause the video and come back. Okay, my deployment is complete. I'm going to go to resource. And in here, you see the settings, you would see app service plan, API. You see the networking, click on networking and you here you see the option access restrictions. You click on access restrictions. If you would see it says allow all, right? If you will add a rule and you enter the name of the IP address rule here, rule one. You can mention the action, It will it be allow or deny, 
you can mention the priority let's say description of the rule and then you say the source ip would be a virtual network ipv6 or a service tag if i'll say virtual network i'll mention an existing virtual network so this web app would only be accessible from that virtual network only right and in here if i'll mention the ipv4 i can mention uh, let's say my public ip as well and then it will only be allowed by those public ips that will be added into the allowed list of the access restrictions on my web app these are the extra settings we can specify host names of the originating request to limit traffic if a load balancer or http proxy supports host name forwarding this is the uh, x forwarded for x forwarded fdid x health through right let's say i'll do this is my and if you come you mention the ip address here you click on add rule it will add a new rule or add an add a new rule under the access restrictions done you refresh it there is a deny all rule but the priority is lower for my allowed rule so i'll be able to do it so if i do duplicate tab if i do cancel if i remove it go to the overview section and if i browse the website i'm able to browse it right if i change that rule right let me just tweak an ip here i'll do 40 i'll update the rule so i've just added a random ip to allow uh, the connection to my web app right so now if i go back here see i'm getting error 403 forbidden the web app you have attempted to reach has blocked your access that is how it will work now if i'll remove that update that ip or let me just remove that rule refresh it access restriction is off i come here i refresh the page i'm able to access it right so this is uh, the access restrictions on the web app and uh, to permissions to implement this you must have at least the the permissions of read write and uh, to make those changes in the access rule or access restrictions under your web app i hope this was informative for all of you guys if you have any further queries please let me know in the comment section and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day